Okay. Welcome back to this bullshit. Um, I just spent a half hour recording, which is me basically running around being unable to find anything that I needed. Because I missed one teeny tiny little thing. I made no progress for a half hour. And it's so dumb what I missed. It is so dumb what I missed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Pick this up. Okay. Down here. Down we go. Because walls are brilliant. Go in here. Oh no, super mysterious. So cold. Ceiling collapsed. Oh no. And this is what I missed for a half hour. This. Digital organizer. Spooky. Oh no. Spooky sounds. Yeah, oh my god, what is that? I don't know. It's... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't want to be here any longer. I'm super scared. Uh... Go through the door. Better lock it. Okay, this is all, literally all the progress I made in a half hour. Because I could not figure out what I had missed. Because I didn't see the little organizer. I thought I needed to come back out into the house somewhere, find something that would fit through the gap that the air was coming out of. <sighs> so I saved you all the problems of see, of watching me do that. <gasps> Don't want to stay here any longer. Okay, you're super scared. I get it. Like, literally, it's a 28-minute session of me wandering through this house, room by room, trying to find out what I missed. And there was, like, nothing. There's a couple of books that I don't think I'm out to anything. But, like, it was ridiculous. I thoroughly examined everything. I went to my apartment... I went to my office. I was just about to go back to the like the actual thing, the room uh, that we first investigate when I decided that I probably missed something in the hole. So such bullshit. Feel so tired. Oh no, super spooky. Dreamcatcher, protect me from the nightmares. <sighs> Such bullshit. So now I have, in four minutes, gone far, far, that, far farther than I did anywhere else. Who's knocking at my door? Better not be somebody spooky. Better not be a ghost demon. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Ghost Demon, can you stop? Hello? I don't like the darkness. I'm gonna just go back into my house. Thank you. Hide in my bathroom, thanks. 
that's new. That's a bug. And that is different. But I can't click on it. I'm not concerned that there's a bug in my cabinet. Is there anything else different? Any more different stuffs? No? Okay, fair enough. What's beyond this door, though? No, thank you. I don't want any. Don't jump scare me. Don't you jump scare me, you bastards. Sha, who the fuck are you? Okay, I'll just calmly, carefully just stand there while that happens. What? Listen, I need to ask you something about him. He woke up several times during the night. Each time he claimed there was some kind of creature sitting on his chest, preventing him from fully waking Sleep up. Sleep paralysis. Does he suffer from nightmares or any other kind of problems? I'm not really sure what you mean. I see. It's probably nothing. Stress, most likely, brought on by pressures at work combined with not enough sleep. You're his friend. When he gets out of here, tell him to take a break. A long break. He needs it. Not gonna happen. I'm gonna delve straight back into this whole crazy bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, you're not keeping me away from anything. Uh huh. What the? What's happening to me? I've been suspended from my police job until further notice. Oh, that's me? The doctor told me I've suffered a nervous breakdown. They told me I woke up everyone in my apartment building three nights ago with my screaming. I don't remember that happening. Hmm. What's wrong with me? These dreams I keep having, they seem so real. This case, there's something about it. I feel connected to it somehow. But why? Maybe if I could solve it, I could understand some of the other things that are happening to me. Okay. Hello. After the beep. Spooky. Hi, Howard. Nope. Okay. I just called to ask you if everything's all right. You had a breakdown, you know. You've got to get some rest, mate. Nah. I will call you again, mate. Look after yourself. See you soon. Mhm. Mm all right. So I'm going straight back to that house of bullshit. 
No, I don't want to take my meds. Why would I want to take any meds? That doesn't seem like anything I want to do. Message one. Hi, Howard. You had a break to I will call you again. Look after yourself. I just want to see if there's anything different. To my medicine cupboard, I guess. Assuming this is where my pills are gonna be, yep. Give me that. Okay, now I'm medicated and better, I guess. Alright. Now you're paranoid. Wonderful. Alright. Let's go onwards to that mysterious house of bullshit. Search more carefully this time, huh? Still locked. Okay. I'm going to assume the bullshit's still in the basement. So we're gonna look over here. Make sure that's still locked. In, or blocked. Yep. Okay. I'm just giving a vague once over. Pretty sure I remember what most of the house looks like. Locked. Yep. Okay. Still as it is. That's still weird. That's still what it is. Nothing new about this. Alright. Upstairs. Nothing different here. Six fifty five. Can't read that. Nothing strange here. Do I still I don't have the lamp anymore? Okay. Oh, I never actually looked at this. Just seeing if 655 was the password, but it's not. Okay. Anything going on here still? It's still locked. Why they would lock a wardrobe, I don't know. Uh, no, nothing different. Told me to be thorough and being thorough. Okay. Is that the password? Okay, so clearly the password is numbers. Because it's not. Letting me actually. When will the triumphant wish be? But okay, so I have to actually pay attention to something. these. 
is no. When will the triumphant witch be reborn? I don't know because I didn't read any of the notes actually ever. Um. Nothing I can get to here. Still this weird bullshit. Nothing new here. Can't do anything there. Can't do anything there. Nothing. Notes. Blah, 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 blah. blah, blah. about a witch in any of these. I'm guessing I just don't have the password yet. It's the only reason I'm not actually going to read anything still. Okay. Still can't get in there. Okay. Still okay. So still super dark. anything fair enough nothing of interest nothing weird doki into the hole again we go. Alright, still nothing here that I can look at either. Everything that was locked is still locked. Still wet soil. Same. Still the same. Still messy. Okay, not returning there ever again. Okay, fair. It's fair and smart, actually. So, what am I missing? I'm missing something in this house. to read just all the lore because I don't want to think there's actually anything for me to read except for upstairs that has anything to do with anything.
see anything in that. up with this paper too. back in the bedroom. Is that on this? Um, place I remember poems is at my house. I don't recall seeing any other, like, book anywhere. I'm so confused. back to my house really quick. Just to... Pretty sure. Here, okay, book of poetry. That has nothing to do with anything. But over here... this. Okay. So dumb. Okay. Uh, da, 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 Sure, tomorrow will be the witch's triumphant night. So, April 2nd, 99. Okay. Yep. Okay. That's the triumphant night. Come on. Oh, there's five? What? Oh, God. There's five things in here. How can 
be five clues here. Should not be seen in the daylight. Interesting at all. Okay, yep. Any of this is like actual cool. All right, cool. Sixteen ninety nine then is the code I want. No. Okay. Uh, Sixteen and nine. Got to kill himself. Eighteen. Six children died. There are mirrors in the house. The red rose. Okay. How does that help me? How does that help me at all? Tomorrow will be the witch's trap at night. Sixteen ninety nine. Do I need mirrors? I don't think there'd be anything in my closet. Just there. Okay. Enough medicine already, fair enough. Okay, if I'm not supposed to be working, why did they just let me into my office? I don't remember this. Has that always been there? It was really weird. Is 
just want to see if there's anything interesting in here right now. Doesn't appear to be. Yeah, it's just that. Nothing new by the looks of it. Everything the same as it was. missing. Do I have to do some weird bullshit where I at which be reborn. I have no idea what any of that is like actually meaning. No sun bleak and stormy night, the night after my friend Harold Gallo died. He was just eighteen, so full of life and bright, found dead alone in his home by the riverside. Then, as the storm was roaring, trees swung left to right, I heard the awful storm now carved into my mind. It was about a witch who will not be seen in daylight. She was betrayed by her people, cursed the town, and died. She lived in a forest too close to her town, so no one would dare enter from dusk till dawn. Seldom she came here to buy food or a gown, and never said bad things nor caused us any harm. Still the young ones of the town, in their fear grew great, they said to the people, which must be burned as such. But the old ones stood against, said, Curb your hate. They cried, Betraying her brings trouble far too much. Yet the young ones, scared, thought that she could be burned so fast, and they called the witch hunters to burn her down to dust. Without proper inquisition, they put her in a cage. No words came from her mouth, neither any curse nor rage. As the devouring red flames from bright thrown before my eyes, those damn hellish words were heard within her painful cries. You'll pay for this foolish act with your own children's lives. They will die when they're eighteen. This will be your woeful prize. 
Lest the story ends here, but the curse endures anew. Six children have died with a sign of the witch on their brow. At the same night, come the next morn, we've had a newborn. And the sign, so rumors say, numbers when she'll be reborn. Yes, I'd seen that sign before, just before Harold died. No natural death, he killed himself that night. He always acted strange, but at, but last in my sight, he seemed not quite himself, like a doll that can be thrown aside. I snuck into Gallo's home and found a spot to hide. Then he came in silence and went up, like night arrived. Cloud and brack, face pale moonlight, eyes so wide, and his chamber was changed, mirrors all around displayed. Then I followed him upstairs, as silent as a thief, when I saw as much for me, my beliefs cracked beneath. His chamber door was not closed, to me held its back, but I saw a reflection of pale face, colored with bloody awful relief. He was carving the sign on his brow with an old rusty blade, then he cut his own throat so quick he did not hesitate. I fell down to the floor, still alive and shaking in pain so great, and then I ran away in the dead in the night. All I could feel was cold as dread. This is this is the story I've kept in the soul of mine. Everything started for me on first of April, sixteen ninety nine. That was the day on which Harold's soul took flight, and I'm sure tomorrow will be the witch's triumphant night. Okay. So. no idea what to do. Eighteen. Six children died. Yeah. Mirrors displaying it. no idea. I'm usually really good with riddles, but I'm not today. Tomorrow will be your triumphant night. Her saying numbers when she'll be reborn. The sign is X1, which is... Eleven, I think. Uh, double check that really quick on Google. one is eleven. So it's not I wouldn't think it was that.
should be reborn. Which was eleven eleven ninety nine. I was just looking up a thing and it said something about a hidden clue. So that makes sense. Um, so, field notes part one. Yeah, it just says stuff about the well. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what I missed. So I'm actually re actually looking through a walkthrough real quick just to see. Because I feel like I'm just wasting so much time. So, mm -hmm. Eighteen, six mirrors the sign, and that. Wait. Okay, open the think page. It's telling me. Click hold from the left, icons in the mirrors and the drop sign. So, mirrors, the sign, I think. <sighs> this is so dumb. Icons of six children. Reverse the sign, think about that.
18 years old. Date of his death. Can't think of anything. Okay, so what else was missing from that? Oh, the children left. Okay, Jesus. That it's just me, or was that really arbitrary? I would not have figured that out on my own. Seventeen fifty-three. Jesus. Honestly, I would not have figured that out. The thinking mechanic is so weird. Alright. Um, yeah. So it already had told me to go to check out the house more thoroughly. So I'm going to go there again. Um, I don't think there's anything downstairs to look at. So. Oh. I didn't actually click on that, this stuff before. I didn't know that I could. Weird. Strong smell, caramel smell. No. Uh, oh, and something in the air. Okay. What else am I missing? keeping the walkthrough open at this point because I'm like so actually confused about all of it. Like I'm getting so lost trying to figure this stuff out. hidden clue in here. Um, okay. So number one has sound. Wait, what? Sounds. 
number eight. So did I miss anything about earlier then? Let me just quickly double check this. Um, I'm just going to assume no for right now. Um, where was I? Isn't this the office? Oh, my office. My name is Howard. It's all really hard being in per so impersonal, basically. Okay, so my office is here. Registry of Deaths. And out tray. So, date of birth. Wait, why aren't you letting me? Okay. Oh. And when they died. Well, burial, I guess. Does not have any interest. Died on here. Okay. So, oh, and suffocation. There's suffocation on here. Here it is. Okay, that doesn't count as a additional thing, I guess. Just, okay, just underline it. Okay, so think. Clarkfield's death. Um, and the shovel with wet mud on it. Okay, now I gotta go back to the library. To the locked case in the library. As I said, at least I'm figuring out the layout of this house a lot better. So back to here. Back to this. Um, that I want, I guess? Oh, okay, I gotta do that. Okay. Gotta do that. Alright, where's the 
worst part three of the field notes. Blah 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 Okay. This is so fascinating. should absolutely go there immediately. That is the best of all the ideas. Oh, now you don't feel well, huh? Yeah, you're uh, shaking pretty badly, dude. Let's go home, take a nap, and think about everything that we just did here. Yep. Only good things are about to happen here. Yep. Dreamcatcher, why have you forsaken me? Just a nap all the time. Which is pretty much my ideal like situation, but still, geez. Oh, this is exactly where I want to wake up. Yeah, this is brilliant. <gasps> yep. Mm hmm. Rope won't hold me up. Oh no, we're gonna fall. <laughs> oh man. 
Oh, wonderful, yes. Human remains, exactly the kind of place you want to be at. How did I land here if the hole is there? Alright, well, you know what? It's been an hour. Alright, rotate my save. Still the game. Okay. Rotate my save just in case nothing works. And for now, I am going to leave this game and its frustrating ways as it is. Uh, I'll close the walkthrough again next episode and we'll see how far I can get before I need it again. Because this game is super frustrating with its puzzles. Like, ugh. Anyway, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.